Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Gleno2024. Today we're going to be changing the Ring of Light LEDs. As you can see right here, we have taken the Xbox apart, which we're not going to go through now, but you can watch a video on YouTube somewhere. I might make a video later. Um, you know, let me know if you want that. But under this little plastic clip, there's going to be different colored LEDs, which we'll get to in a second. But right now we're just going to take out this little piece here, which requires a Torx 8 screwdriver, which you can get online. Just a quick warning, taking off the Xbox cover was kind of difficult. It took like 45 minutes. So, prepare for that. So what it does is, under here you'll notice there's kind of a plug. So you're going to want to pull that out. And it's just a, it looks kind of like a USB, but it's not, obviously. But it looks like that, so you can just pull it out. There's a little socket here that it'll come out of. So just yank that out. And here we have our little ring of light power circuit. So we're going to take that and move away our Xbox. Now what we're next going to do is remove this little plastic clip, which on the back, you can see that it just kind of clips around. So we're just going to pull those off. You see on the bottom, it kind of comes off too. So here you see we have the clip off, and you'll see a big circle, which is where the, you know, the touch sensor was. And in each corner, there are two LEDs for each color. So since there are four greens, you're going to notice that there's eight LEDs. So there's two greens here two greens here, two greens on the bottom right, and two greens on the bottom left. And then you have your center a dual LED, which is the green and the red in one little LED. Um, we'll go kind of, we'll kind of go over the middle LED later. That's actually, you can use two LEDs, two separate colors if you want to. Uh, but right now we're just going to get rid of these uh, corner LEDs and change them out for different colors. So here you'll see our tool since we already got our little circuit thing out. We have our orange LEDs, we have our white LEDs, blue LEDs, which we'll all be using. Well, you don't have to use that many. Uh, you can just, you know, do one solid color if you want. Really is up to you. But I'm going to use different colors to make it a little bit more flashy. Um, so next we got our uh, 64 to rosin core with the flux uh, core. Correct? Whatever. <laughs> Um, because it's rosin core, but then has a flex core, which I know. Yeah. It's interesting. All right. Um, then we have our little ESD tweezers here, so we can pick up the LEDs. Or otherwise, it's pretty much impossible. They're like little tiny grains of sand. Um, then obviously we have our little circuit board for the power. So just be careful which direction you sit your circuit board down, just so you're not putting LEDs in the wrong spots if you're using multiple colors. So be aware of that. Um, so we're going to be using our 25 watt soldering gun. Uh, I went with the lower wattage just because I don't want to, you know, burn the circuit board. You don't want any of that or burn the LEDs or anything like that. So just be a little bit careful. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with our first couple LEDs. Um, we got our little rosin core here. We're just going to put the soldering gun right up to the first LED. You should be careful you don't leave it there for too long. So we're just going to create a nice little glob of solder and just be able to swipe the LED right off. There we go. Get a little bit of solder on there. Get a nice little glob. And then, you can see it just kind of pulled off, and then you discard whatever LED you just pulled off or any extra solder that is on your iron. You just kind of flick it off. So we're going to move on to our next one. Just kind of get a little bit of solder on there, on the iron. Make a nice little glob so it's easy for the LED to come off. You don't want to scrape too hard or anything like that and ruin any circuits, so you just got to be very careful. So we got our first two LEDs off. Now we're going to move on to the rest of the LEDs. All right, so here you can see we got all of the LEDs off. There's, you can see, a couple burn marks, but that shouldn't be a problem. Um, you're always going to get a little bit of... <laughs> a little bit of burn marks because of the high heat you're working with. That's why I recommend the lower wattage. Some people use 30, some people use 40, but I recommend 20 just in case. And they're also a little bit cheaper. Now for the middle one, as you can see it's a little bit bigger, so you gotta get a little bit more of a solder on there. It's not working out like I hoped. There we go. All right, so we're going to take out our LEDs. We're going to start with our white. Now you may be using all one color, so you can just take out as many as you want. But they'll usually come in these little strips. This is the 0603 LEDs. 
Um, you just kind of on the back you'll see a bunch of tape. Just kind of peel those back a little bit. Be very careful when they come out of their packaging because they're super tiny and very easy to lose. So you should have kind of a little workspace that, you know, if it does fall, you can recognize it. See? Look, you wouldn't even know that it just dropped. So down here, you'll see that it kind of fell. Alright, so on the back of this, you'll see that there is a little indicator. Now, it's different for every LED. You probably can't see it very well in the video. Um, I should be able to include a picture. Uh, on the back of pretty much all LEDs, there's some kind of indicator that points towards the negative uh, side of it. So whichever way the indicator is pointing is the way that you're going to point on the uh, motherboard, or not on the motherboard, on the circuit. For all the LEDs, there is a little white indicator. Uh, for this, there's little white dots, which you'll see. All right, so I have my little white LED here, which is what I'm going to be using for the first LEDs. Um, on the back, it has a little arrow pointing towards the white dot. So I'm going to line it up with the white dot and make sure it is touching both little metal uh, connectors here. So we're just going to kind of drop it on. Again, make sure it is touching both connectors because those are what gives it power, positive and negative. So once I feel like I got that kind of placed right, just to keep it there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your soldering gun. We're going to take a little bit of solder on it. So just kind of take it and we're just going to dab a little bit on there. So we have that. We're going to grab our tweezers. And hold our LED in place. Got a nice little connection there. We're going to go to the other side. Just kind of touch it down there. And then we're going to flick or extra solder. So now we're done with the tweezers. It's, it's held in place and it's not going anywhere. We're going to go to the other side here. And touch it. Give it a little bit of solder there. Not too much. So that should be enough to hold it in place. That's our second LED. We're just lining up here too on our metal. So just make sure it's kind of lined up. I'm going to grab some solder on here. Grab our tweezers. Kind of hold it in place. Okay, I think we got a nice little connection there. Again, it's really important that you have these metal pieces, that the LED is touching both metal pieces and that the arrow is pointing towards the white dots. You don't want to screw that up or else it's just not going to work and you're going to have to do this again, which would be a problem. So now that we got one side, we're going to go to the other side and just kind of give it a little connection touch there. See under that we got a little bit of a connection. So we're going to leave that. So now we have both whites on our first LED, so this will be one little corner. So this will be the, I guess, the player one corner. Now we're going to move on to our player two, which we're going to make orange. All right, so now we're pulling out our orange LEDs. And remember, you got to look for the arrow or whatever kind of symbol it has to point towards the negative side. We're just going to kind of drop it on so we can get to it quicker later. Don't pull the damn thing. There you go. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> now we're going to drop some solder on here. I've heard that one before. Now. Got it. So now we're going to drop off the extra solder. And then we're going to switch around and go from the other side. Now that we don't have to use the tweezers going to go at it from this way, because this is the best way to do it, really. I'm 
just gonna leave that. Don't want to push my luck. So, I'm just gonna have that sit there. Not 100% sure if that's soldered in, but I think it is. So, we're just gonna move on to the next orange, I guess. Drop a little solder in there. Got that pretty much on there, we'll hope. I'm gonna turn it around just so I can get to the other side. All right, so you can see we got all of our side LEDs or our little circle LEDs, our controller um, lights. But you know, we there was a little bit of burnage going on, but everything should work fine. Um, so we're going to move on to our middle LEDs. So now, if you're looking at it this way, with with the kind of facing towards you, the LED that's just the power light is going to be on the right. So you're going to be towards this way is going to be the power LED. Um, you'll see that the little white dot is on the bottom, so you're going to aim the arrow, or the negative side, down. Um, and then on your left here, you're going to see the other set of uh, little connectors, and that's going to be your arrow light. So, you know, that's typically the red, and then the other right is typically the green. So you're going to want to plan your colors accordingly. So I'm going to go ahead and drop a blue light on my uh, power. All right, so we just kind of drop our blue LED on right there. I'm going to grab our soldering gun. Drop a little solder on there. Try and hold it still with our LEDs or with our tweezers. Same drill. And so we got one side. Now we're going to take our solder. Drop a little solder on there. We should be good to go. So then we got our red LED. We're just going to drop it right next to our blue one. I like to keep the red because it's, for me, it kind of symbolizes the warning. So we're going to drop a little bit of some rosin on there, or solder. Alright, so now that we got all of our LEDs in place, we got all of our controller parts in place, all of our colors and all that. We got our blue power on the right, we got our red error on the left. Um, we're just going to drop our little clip back on. Our, uh, so we're going to have to line it up. There is a little, uh, as you can see, button up here kind of, that it'll fall right into this hole in the top right. Uh, just make sure you're doing it right. So just line it up. You'll see that the white line kind of outlines the, the black little clip on. Just clip that on. As you can see, it's clipped on. So now we're ready to plug it back into our 360. All right, so we have our little circuit here. We're going to attempt to check it out. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your little uh, face plate. You're going to take the ribbon that was plugged into it previously. It's a little power ribbon. It has a bunch of circuits in it. So you're going to hook that back up so the button will work. So we're just going to, you know... There you go. 
Apply a little bit of pressure and eventually it'll go around. Just gotta help it out a little bit. Just gonna take my tweezer, just kinda push the edge in. Cause it's not really... There we go. So now our plug is all set up. We're able to just take our 360 here. And we're gonna drop it back into our little port that we have. Kinda like a USB. So we're gonna drop these two and connect it. Like so, it's really no, not difficult. You don't really have to apply that much pressure, just plug it in. All right, so we got everything hooked up. We just went ahead and put our screws back into it so we can get nice tight connection. So if you tested it before you put it back together and everything, then once you're sure that everything's good, you don't have to go back and resolder or anything, you can go ahead and plug it all back together and you can, you know, use your controller, try to turn it on. And then you can see right there that we have our blue LED. So you can see that worked just fine. I'm very happy with that. Um, I'm not getting any controller connection because I have no audio, no video cord plugged in, but we will see that in a few minutes when I'm able to, you know, hook it up into the video and everything. So I hope you enjoyed, guys. Um, for future videos, go ahead and subscribe. Like if you enjoyed this. You know, you could always leave a comment saying if this was successful for you and if uh, you had fun doing it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.